back in 2022 and 2021, I used to feel negative and terrible with myself, but I would literally consume shit all the time. Consume Xbox, video games, porn, all this stuff all the time to literally just crush my mind. Instagram, I used to spend so much time on Instagram and just crush myself, crush my mind and not address me as a person. Leading to me, never bettering myself. Leading to me, always feeling terrible with myself and leading to me, just feeling crushed in my reality and never sorting anything out. And I just want you lot to be honest with yourself at times because the day you're more honest with yourself is the day you're truly gonna improve. And that sounds cliche, that sounds like a phrase someone to say, and that sounds like something that someone to say, and it's hypothetical and it's wishy-washy and all this. But in reality, if you address where you're going wrong and the things you're doing wrong, you are gonna be more open to improving that and you're gonna understand where the problem stems from. I used to be in a position where I wouldn't look at my problems. I would just immerse myself in stuff. And in this generation, it's easy to distract yourself all the time. It's easy to hurt yourself all the time and not even know you're hurting yourself. It's easy to take away from yourself all the time and not even know you're literally taken away from you as a person. And it's easy to do that. And that's what we are in now. That's this technology age we're in now. And low key, I'm benefiting from it a bit, innit? With these videos as well. So I'm part of the problem to an extent. But overall, if you constantly consume shit and never look at yourself and never spend time for yourself and never look at oh i'm not doing well on this thing i could do better in this that's going to crush you and that's going to take you away from the version you want to be the person you want to be and that's going to hurt you in an overall sense and i don't want you lot in that position i really don't because that's a dark sad and miserable place that's the place i've been in i hate myself and i don't like myself but i would cling on to people because that would make me feel valued that made me feel good, but that doesn't help in an overall sense because I'm not addressing me as a person. And that's going to hurt me long term in an overall sense because I'm not addressing myself on a real level. I'm not helping myself on a real level and I don't want you lot in this position. I really don't because it's really dark for your confidence, your mental health, you as a person, you as you literally view yourself. What you're going to achieve, you're not going to achieve anything in that mind state. You're not going to help yourself and the overall message and the value in this video is be honest with yourself it's a cliche topic it's a cliche saying but please be honest with yourself and where you can better yourself and where you can help yourself because the day you're actually honest with yourself and understand where you need to improve that's when you're going to be closer to improving it and then we need to take more accountability for that and say oh i need to do this thing this thing this thing i need to start looking into this to better my reality i need to start trying for myself that's when you see true and actual growth in yourself and it may take time, it may take effort, it may take consistency, it may take ups, it may take downs. And it always does. But that's going to allow you to feel better in yourself and actually live a better reality in yourself and make you feel like someone who you want to be. And that's going to allow you to actually see yourself as someone who you're proud to be. And that's going to allow you to actually be grateful for you as a person. And that's what I want for you. I don't want you lot in this cycle of where you constantly just consume shit that don't help you. Run away from your problems, run away from yourself and never truly address yourself. Maybe it's drugs, maybe it's alcohol, maybe it's porn, maybe it's social media, maybe it's YouTube, maybe it's whatever it is. And you never truly address yourself. I don't want you lot in that position because that's not going to allow you to grow. That's not going to allow you to address yourself in an overall perspective. And that's not going to allow you to help. The day when you understand it's on me to improve me, it's on me to better me, is the day when you start truly growing. And the day when you actually take action on that, it's the other day when you start growing properly. And when you understand it's going to take time, effort, consistency, a long-term vision, that's when you start to truly improve yourself and take yourself to that level and understand that things don't come easy. Social media and all this stuff is so easy to consume. It's easy to consume. We've all been there. Porn is easy to consume. We've all been there. <laughs> Eating shit food all the time is easy to be there. And it's easy to stay in that. But to get up, work out, to get up, film stuff, work on something you want to achieve, work on things you want to achieve, to get up, go to work, make money, it's hard to do. And it's hard to constantly be in that. To meditate is hard as well at times. And to journal about yourself and your problems and where you need to be better is hard. But they all have, they all have a good effect on your growth. Getting out in nature has an amazing effect on you. Speaking to people, building your confidence through actually speaking to people has an amazing effect on you. But if you don't do that, then it's only hurting you, you know? If you choose to be social on social media just by watching people and sending a few text messages, that's on you. But you're not going to get true fulfillment out of that. 
But if you say, no, I need to be honest with myself. Or I need to improve myself and do that for me now. Do that for me. And it's going to take a while. It may take years. It may take a bit of time to achieve that. That's going to have an amazing effect on you as a person. And that's what I want for you overall. Thank you, Doc, for all the love recently. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.